hi guys welcome back to again step campus channel in this video we are going to talk about the x path okay so what is an x path so x path is defined as the xml path okay so uh, like this x path is used to define the path of the element from a web page okay so this x path what we are doing with this x path so we have uh, we have to find the locator right so with the help of this x path we are finding the locator and perform a definite action on that uh, element okay so already you know like how to write a xpath if you don't know then you can see the syntax so xpath will be written like uh, double slash and then we have to give the tag and then add the red attribute and its correspond value okay like this way we have to write the xpath okay so xpath can be written into two ways the first one is relative xpath second one is absolute xpath okay so first see what is absolute xpath so absolute xpath means the complete path okay complete path means like it will start from the html tag okay and it will followed by a single slash okay so if we want to write so we have to write like slash html slash uh, body like this way we have to write the xpath for this one okay and the second one is relative xpath so relative xpath is the mostly used xpath okay and the syntax will be uh, this xpath will be like double slash okay and then we can move to the any tag any tag name okay so i will show you example also so that you can understand uh, very easily okay so if you see here so we are writing like this way, right double slash this is the tag name right input then we have to open a bracket and then right we have to write like at the rate uh, anything like value is a attribute so value equals to google search is a value of this value attribute okay like this way we are writing the xpath so you uh, this is a relative xpath which we are uh, normally writing in our selenium code or nightwatch code whatever okay but absolute x path is also there okay which is uh, starting from the single slash and then we have to start from the html tag okay so we have to write like slash html and then we have to go to the uh, uh, that uh, defined uh, defined element okay so like this way we can do so mostly we are using with the relative x path only because this is easy also and this is a relative x path so it won't affect the whole code okay now inside this xpath we have this basic absolute xpath so what is basic absolute xpath so you can see this one slash slash input at the right id equals login id so we have written this one right so absolute means like either we can write this tag name or we can directly write slash slash star okay the star will represent this tag name also okay so you can see the all examples from here in the screen so xpath also writing uh, using contents so how to write using contents then we have to write slash slash star either you can write star or you can go with this uh, tag name also okay and then we have to write contents c will be small okay contents at the rate id comma login here we are writing at the rate id or whatever at the rate attribute equals to value okay equals to value but when we write contents then we have to give at the id comma or we can say at the rate attribute comma value okay and contents c will be small okay so this will be the syntax now what is multiple attribute so multiple attribute means like if you are using any id class but that is not unique okay so you can't uh, grab the element right so to make it unique we have to move to the different element also so how to write it so if you see like slash slash star okay at the rate id equals to login id so once you write this code suppose we are getting two element okay so how you make it unique so we have to use some different attribute also so here name we are taking as a different attribute to make it unique so this is a multi attribute where id and name both are using together okay so i hope this is clear to you so you can see this below examples also now xpath writing uh, using and and or also okay so how to write same thing how we have written for this written for this multiple attribute we will write like same way okay but instead of this two bracket we are writing and and or okay so you can see this syntax as well okay now xpath using start with so we have to uh, write xpath using start with so for this one like suppose a scenario like you have a booking site okay train booking site and when you book a ticket so you know okay like for example it is predefined like any any ticket which is generated it will start with p and r underscore and some digit okay based on the user okay so p and r is the starting line of that p and r number okay so you can write xpath like slash slash star start with at the rate id comma pnr okay so like this also we can you can write this one okay so i hope till here it is clear to you now move to the exercise part so first question so first question i will zoom it to you okay now first question is xpath syntax is so how to write xpath slash slash tag name at the rate value equals to attribute name no first we have to give 
at the rate attribute equals to value so this option not be correct slash slash tag name at the rate attribute name equals to value yeah this seems some correct okay now we'll see the third one slash slash attribute name no slash slash attribute name no so it will start with the tag name and then attribute and then value so option b will be the answer now second question which of the following syntax is correct for multi type x path okay multi type x path okay so multi type means like we have to write two x path so this is one x path at the rate value equals to attribute no every time it should be at the rate attribute equals to value okay so first option is not correct now attribute equals to value attribute one equals to value one and slash slash start so this is a correct one okay so we will make it correct but see uh, see the second option also so slash slash no we directly not uh, we can't write directly slash slash tag okay so we have to write slash slash then we have to give first tag name and then we have to give this value that's why it is not correct and again for this one attribute equals to value comma we are not not writing okay for the multiple x path so this is also not correct so option b will be the answer uh, which of this syntax is correct for the absolute x path so if you see see uh, i have told you about the absolute x path but i didn't give you example right so you can see the example from here okay so absolute x path means if you see so it will start with the html okay as we have discussed in the lecture so slash html2 so this is not a correct because see, it is starting from the html but we are directly jumping to the second element so this is not be answer absolute means starting from the first element okay and then we have to move correspond okay without skipping any line so this is not correct double uh, double slash is not a absolute it is a relative so this is also not correct slash slash not correct because it's a relative one now slash html slash body slash div slash input so this we are following some sequential order right so this will be the correct so we have to move to the first html then body then div then input so this is a absolute x path okay so i hope this is clear to you now which of the following syntaxes is correct for the start with okay so start with and this value okay so how we are writing we are writing so you can see here so for writing uh, uh the x path for this one so we have to write slash slash then tag name so tag name is not there so it is not correct this is also not correct so slash slash star if the tag name is written there then we can think about this one either it is correct or not okay but we have to give the tag name if not tag name then we have to make it a star so option d will be the answer okay now uh we have some other example also like other types of x path also so x path using access method access method means uh it will consist of these lines like following ancestor child preceding following sibling parent self and descendant so these are the ex access method for the writing the x path okay so we won't directly go to this one okay like no need to think very much about this one just see the syntax okay so because we are uh, like we are rarely using this in our code also okay so we will see for the uh, mcq so we just just see the syntax how we are writing okay so following following means like it's a current one okay it's a current one so if you see this one so we have to write slash slash start at the rate name equals to username and then we have to give slash slash following okay following and then we can give any value so see this two columns we have to write either you have to write for following or you have to write for ancestor whatever you will write so double colon should be there and some and then you can give any attribute or value name okay so okay so this is a value name okay this will be a value name okay so this is the writing for the following now ancestor and parent okay so you can uh, like you already know about the ancestor and parent so ancestor like uh, whenever it comes uh, uh, when you I mean, whenever you see the ancestor then first thing probability that comes to your mind is grandparents and their parents so same thing here happening also in the html okay so how to write for the ancestor don't go about these things okay so i have written this for the notes purpose only but yeah for mcq purpose you can directly see how we are writing the syntax so slash slash start at the rate name equals to username so this is the first x path okay and then slash slash ancestor and then two colon then table okay I, any any attribute name or value name you can write here so this is for the ancestor and same thing same thing till here but we are replacing ancestor with parent and then we giving any another value so like this way we have to write whether it will be ancestor then we are writing slash slash ancestor if it is a parent then slash slash parent or if it is a following then slash slash following okay so just see this syntax only okay it will come in the mcq like this way only now okay child and descendant okay so uh, we can see child and descendant descendant means child 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 okay so syntax if you want to see so for descendant it will be slash slash descendant and t body and for child slash slash child 
and uh, column okay in in all the there are to be uh, there are there should be two columns okay so slash slash descendant and two column and some value again slash slash child two column and then some value okay this is for child okay preceding same thing slash slash we have to write preceding and then two column and then any value okay so this is a very easy thing okay no need to worry about uh, this syntax and now the last one self self means the current node okay self means the current uh, just remember this part self is used for the current node you will get a mcq based on this self okay now now the next one is following sibling same thing slash slash following sibling see following sibling following hyphen sibling okay so we are writing slash slash following hyphen sibling and then two colon and then the value okay so now move to the exercise part we will see some exercise okay which of the following syntax is correct for the parent expand okay so what we are uh, read so slash slash parent and two colon okay so slash slash star it should be star attribute equals to value correct slash slash parent and then two colon and then value okay now move to the second one slash slash star is not there so this won't be correct star is not necessary but after uh, if you are not giving star then you, we have to give the tag name that's why it is not correct okay slash slash star attribute equals to value slash slash parents so parents is not any attribute okay so this that's that's why it is also not correct only parent we have to see okay and this is slash slash star correct attribute equals to value correct for slash slash parent colon colon attribute see attribute we are not giving we are giving value okay whatever we are writing here it's a value it's not a attribute okay so this is also not correct so answer will be option a okay now which of the following syntax is correct for the following x path okay so following x path slash slash see slash slash tag name is not there so not not these two option are not there not correct okay now we have to see about between these two so slash slash star attribute equals to value correct slash slash following okay following slash slash attribute see again same thing following attribute not a correct following value should be so option d will be the answer okay self is used for a current node i already told you to remember this point self is used for the current node so answer will be current preceding is used for selecting all the node or attribute that come see preceding means before so answer will be before okay now we'll move to the css selector part okay so this css selector we will see in the next lecture okay so in this video that's all guys we will see you in the next lecture thank you bye bye